Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Uh, recently I came across a matrix transformations modeling question which I thought was a little bit difficult. So I'm going to share with you guys on how to do it. Make sure you've seen all my tutorials on um, matrix transformations of curves. If you don't know how to transform a curve, you're going to have trouble with this question so let's have a go at it so the first thing you do is you write down the matrix transformations general equation and that is the image of the transformation is equal to the transformation matrix times by the original point x and y Okay, so whenever you're transforming a curve, in order to find out the image of the curve, what you do is you rearrange this equation so you get the inverse of L multiplied by the image is equal to the original point. Right, and the way you the reason why you do that is because we want to find the relationship between x dash and y dash in the image. So if we um, substitute L inverse into this equation we have kk20 so kk20 inverse times x dash y dash equals x and y Okay, so what we're going to do now is um, I'm going to find the inverse of this matrix, which is 1 over um, the diagonals, uh, k times 0, so that's 0, minus 2 times k, so that's 2k, so that's just 1 over negative 2k, so I'm going to rub out the 0 now. 1 over negative 2k times by um, these two elements will be reversed and these two elements we make them the negative okay so then we have x dash y dash is equal to x and y okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply the constant outside into the matrix so then I get 0, um, negative k over negative 2k, 2 over negative 2k, and k over negative 2k, times by the matrix x dash y dash equals xy. Okay, now we're going to multiply, do the matrix multiplication, so rows times columns okay so 0 times x dash 0 x dash y dash times negative k over negative 2k so that's negative k times y dash over negative 2k and that equals x Okay, now I'm doing the second row times by this column. So it's 2x dash over negative 2k plus ky dash over negative 2k equals y. Right, because the second row times by this column. Okay, so now that we have done that, um, then we have x is equal to negative k times y dash over negative 2k and y is equal to 2x dash over negative 2k plus ky dash over negative 2k and now you can see in our original equation y equals x squared minus k so I'm gonna now substitute 
x and y into that equation. y equals x squared minus k. Right, so what I what I can do is substitute the expression I have for x into where x is, expression I have for y, where y is, and that will relate x dash and y dash together. So now I have 2x dash over negative 2k plus ky dash over negative 2k equals negative ky dash over negative 2k squared minus k. Now this all looks very crazy at the moment but you can quickly simplify everything so I'm going to firstly get rid of the brackets so I have negative k squared y dash squared over um, negative 2k uh, so basically what happens is um, you have to change a negative to negative 1 Alright, and then negative 1 squared just becomes positive 1. So therefore, in the answer, there is no negatives. Right, negative 1 squared is positive 1. So then I have um, on the bottom 2 squared k squared. So the brackets are now gone. Minus k, and then on the left hand side I have 2x dash over negative 2 k plus k y dash over negative 2 k okay now what we're going to do now is we're going to um, substitute 0 into x dash now why do we do that why are we now going to sub x dash equals 0 because in the question it says the y-intercepts are 6 times square root of 2 units apart and y-intercepts occur at x equals 0 so therefore in our image we're going to sub in sub in x dash equals 0 because that way we can find out the y-intercepts okay so sub in x dash equals 0 because y-intercepts occurs when x is equal to 0 so if you sub in x is equal to 0 then this is equal to 0 so therefore this whole term is equal to 0 because 0 divided by anything is 0 so the only things we have left will be k y dash over negative 2 k equals k squared y dash squared over 2 squared k squared minus k so therefore in this equation the only thing that is missing is k and y dash okay two variables we had an equation with three variables now we have an equation with two variables now fractions are a little bit hard to deal with so I'm gonna try and cancel things out so I have k on the top k on the bottom I have a k squared on the top k squared on the bottom so therefore now all I have left is y dash over negative 2 equals y dash squared over 4 minus k and if I move everything to one side then I have uh, 0 equals uh, y dash over 2 y dash to the power of 2 over 4 minus y dash over negative 2 minus k and now if I multiply both sides by 4 I will get 
y dash to the power of two minus two. Oh, this is plus actually, because minus the negative becomes plus two y dash uh, minus four k. Right? If you multiply both sides by four, if you multiply this side by four, and if you multiply this side by four, then this is the equation you're going to get. So. Once we get this, then we can simply either solve it using quadratic formula or factorize it. So it seems a little bit hard to factorize, so I'm just going to use a quadratic formula. So quadratic formula says um, that y dash is therefore equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So from this equation I get a is equal to 1 because a is the number in front of y dash squared, b is equal to 2 and c is equal to negative 4k. Right? c is this whole constant here. So putting that into the quadratic formula I then have negative 2 plus or minus square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 4k over 2 times 1 right and if I simplify that then I have negative 2 plus or minus square root of 4 plus 16 k because negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16 over 2. So these are my y-intercepts. Right, because it says um, the original question says that it wanted us to find y-intercepts. Y-intercepts occur when x is equal to 0 and I've set x equal to 0 in this equation that relates x dash and y dash. So the image curve is over here. I've set the x value equal to 0 to solve for the y value and I have found the y value to be this value here. Now there are two y-intercepts because I have a plus and a minus. I have two possibilities. right? And now I just have to subtract one y-intercept from the other y-intercepts and make the difference equal to 6 times square root of 2 and then that will help us find what k is. So because the two y-intercepts are 6 times square root of 2 units apart I then have negative 2 plus or minus square root of 4 plus 16k over 2 minus, actually let's do a, let's only do one of them, so plus, that's the first point, minus the other point, is equal to um, 6 square root of 2. Now we just have to solve this equation and k is the only unknown variable. So how do we combine two fractions? Well, when you are taking them away, the denominator stays the same and you just minus the top. So it's minus 2 plus 4 plus 16k minus bracket negative 2 minus screw root of 4 plus 16k equals 6 times square root of 2. 
And now because we have minus negatives, so that becomes a plus. Plus 2 plus square root of 4 plus 16k over 2 equals 6 times square root of 2. And now negative 2 and positive 2 cancel out to 0. So then I have 4 plus 16k times 2. Right, because we have the same thing added together over 2 equals 6 times square root of 2, right? F square root of 4 to plus 16k plus square root of 4 plus 16k is 2 times square root of 4 plus 16k. And now the 2 divided by 2 cancel down to 1, so I have square root of 4 plus 16k is equal to 6 times square root of 2, and uh, I'm going to Square uh, square the right hand side to get to cancel out the square root sign. So I'm going to square both sides. So then I get 4 plus 16k is equal to uh, 36 times 2. Alright, because square root of 2 to the power of 2 is just 2. So now I can just rearrange this 16k equals 72 minus 4. So k is equal to 72 minus 4 is uh, 68 over 16. And if you type that in the calculator, 68 over 16, you get 4.25. Okay, now let's show you guys in GeoGebra what all this means. So I'm going to create a variable called k in GeoGebra, and I'm going to make it equal to 4.25 as I have discovered. Then I'm going to make the matrix L, kk20. So L equals matrix kk in the first row. 2, 0 in the second row. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, create the parabola y equals x squared minus k. So y equals x squared minus k. And that is the parabola. And if I put a point on this parabola, I'm going to now use the matrix uh, the transformation matrix L times by A and you can see point B is the image of the transformation and if I drag point A around on the screen then point B is the image of point A so the image is a parabola as well and you can see that they are approximately 6 times square root of 2 units apart. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.